Did you know that in 1940, Winston Churchill, at the time British Prime Minister, met its French counterpart, Paul Reynaud, in an attempt to prevent the French surrender to German troops. Winston Churchill proposed to create the Franco-British Union. The two nations will be united into one, a mega-gigantic nation, able to stand in face of the Axis powers. Will he succeed in this? We'll find out after the intro. This picture was taken on the 31st of May 1940 in Paris, after one of the many Supreme War Council's meetings happening during those weeks. Two prominent figures can be recognized. On the left, with his typical walking stick, Winston Churchill. On the right, with his white pocket square, Paul Reynaud. Although in the picture, they seem smiling and trying to seem relaxed, these are tragical hours for the Allies. Just 15 days before, on the 15th of May, German troops had smashed French defenses near Belgium and were now aiming to Paris. Then, a few days later, on the 21st of May, with an unprecedented maneuver, the Germans had surrounded hundreds of thousands of Allied troops. A desperate evacuation took place at Dunkirk, where more than 338,000 Allied soldiers escaped to UK between the 26th of May and the 4th of June of 1940. During the meeting, the two Prime Ministers mainly discussed three points, the battles of Narvik in Norway, the already mentioned Dunkirk evacuation, and the prospect of an Italian invasion of France. In particular, Reynaud complained that at the evacuation, named Operation Dynamo, more British troops had been taken off than French, and eventually, Churchill promised to do everything to redress the balance. On the other hand, Churchill's priority was to keep France into war and insisted in convincing Reynaud not to surrender. In particular, the British were concerned about the possible loss of the French Navy to the Germans, which could have led to a sea burn invasion of the island. In a few days, the situation became critical. Germans' troops were now outside Paris. The French cabinet was taking into consideration the idea of an armistice. Then, on June 15th, they voted to ask Germany for the terms of an armistice. Reynaud, who wished to continue the war from North Africa, was forced to submit the proposal to Churchill's war cabinet. He claimed that he would have to resign if the British were to reject the proposal. To prevent such scenario, a British diplomat wrote and presented to Churchill the Franco-British Union proposal. They hoped that such a union would help Reynaud persuade his cabinet to continue the war from North Africa. On the morning of June 16th, the war cabinet agreed to the French armistice request on the condition that the French fleet sailed to British harbors. This, however, disappointed Reynaud, who had hoped to use a British rejection to persuade his cabinet to continue to fight. On the same day, a Reynaud supporter, Charles Gaulle, flew to London and persuaded Churchill into acting vigorously as some dramatic move was essential to give Reynaud the support which he needed to keep his government in the war. It is at this time in history that the final declaration of union was approved by the British War Cabinet under massive pressure. In a shocking move, the declaration stated, France and Great Britain shall no longer be two nations, but one Franco-British Union. The constitution of the union will provide for joint organs of defense, foreign, financial and economic policies. Every citizen of France will enjoy immediately citizenship of Great Britain. Every British subject will become a citizen of France. The declaration immediately succeeded in its goal of encouraging Reynaud. With the German troops now already in Paris, he managed to reunite the French war cabinet one last time. 
although the strong proposal, however, many French leaders were not too enthusiastic. Many called the proposal a British last-minute plan to steal French colonies. Others said that being a Nazi province was preferable to becoming a British dominion. Finally, Philip Pétain, a leader of the pro-armistice group, called the proposal a fusion with a corpse. Many believed indeed that the Germans were close to invade UK, and that in a few months also the British would surrender. The cabinet finally refused the proposal, and later that night asked the Germans for an armistice. A few weeks later, on the 10th of July, the newborn Vichy France would be formed. A German puppet state led by Philip Bétain. At the end of the war, in April 1945, Bétain will be put on trial for treason by the new provisional government and later sentenced to death. The sentence will, however, be commuted to life imprisonment thanks to the intervention of Charles Gaulle. Do you know any other piece of hidden history? Share it in the comment. Smash the like button and subscribe to the channel.